In the previous lecture, we were able to show that the electric field as a result of an infinite plane is constant. In fact, the electric field is given to be the following equation. So sigma divided by 2 multiplied by epsilon naught, where epsilon naught is the permittivity of free space constant and sigma is the charge density. It's the charge per unit area. So let's use this to solve the following example. Suppose two parallel infinite plates are separated by distance d. The charge density on plate number one is positive sigma and the charge density on plate number two is negative sigma. So in part a, calculate the electric field in between our two plates and in part b, calculate the electric field after or outside of plate number two. So let's begin with part A and let's look at the following example. So these are our two infinite plates and this is the distance T between our two plates. Now this plate number one has a positive density and that means it has a positive charge. While this plate, plate number two, has a negative density so that means it has a negative charge. So let's choose any point in between our two plates and let's choose that point to be this point. So what are our two electric fields and in what directions will they point? Let's begin with electric field E1 which is a result of the charge on plate number one. So our net electric field in between our two plates at any point between those two plates is given by taking the sum of these two electric fields. Now E number one points away from this region because it's positive. And notice that E number two will point towards this region. And because these point in the same exact direction, these two will have the same exact sign. So our sum electric field, our net electric field in between our two plates is equal to E1 plus E2. Now because these two plates are infinite plates, we could use the following formula. So E1 is equal to our sigma divided by 2 multiplied by epsilon naught and E2 is also equal to sigma divided by 2 multiplied by epsilon naught. So we simply add these two quantities and we get the following result. So this is our net electric field in between our two parallel plates which are assumed to be infinite. And notice our electric field is uniform. It doesn't matter if we choose this point, this point, or this point. Anywhere in between our two plates, the electric field will be exactly the same. It will equal this value. Now, let's move on to part B. Calculate the electric field outside of plate number two. So in any region, found here. So let's choose our point to be right over here. So once again we have to determine our two electric fields. So electric field E1 is the field as a result of this and because it's positive it will point away. So this field is E number one. Now E number two will pull the electric field towards that charge. So this will be E number two. So this is E number two. And now they have the same quantity but they are opposite in signs. So that means we have E1 minus E2 because we choose this way to be positive and that way to be negative. And now we see that they will cancel out and our field will be zero. So that means there is no electric field as a result of these two infinite plates anywhere outside of our plates. And that holds for this side and this side as well. If we choose any point, point here, point here, or point here, the electric field will be zero in each case. But if we choose a point in between our two plates, the electric field will be constant no matter where we choose in between.